How to Focus is brought to you by Garage Build. Submit your build, share your passion. Powered by Dennis Kirk. It's a 1912 Indian single. It's a handy Indian made by Headstrom Manufacturing, Springfield, Illinois. The significance of this motorcycle is twofold. Number one, it's all original paint, original patina. In my 35 years of playing with vintage pre-15 motorcycles, I've never found a motorcycle that has this much original paint on it. Uh, this motorcycle was pulled out of a barn in Montana and all that happened was the spider webs and the mud daubers and the dirt was blown off of it. Uh, it's not been washed, it's not been cleaned. Um, the other significant thing is in the history of Indian motorcycles there were only 150 belt driven Indians ever produced. Now, I can't verify this, but in talking to serious Indian collectors around the world, uh, we believe that there's only about 12 examples that have leather belts on them remaining in the world. Um, it's, a, it's just a really significant bike. It runs well, motors strong. Uh, typically, these motors don't have a lot of hours or a lot of miles on them. Uh, people made short trips. Um, didn't use them since this was in Montana. It obviously had a short riding season, so we think that's why it survived. And we hope you enjoy it today. It's a piece of leather. Put that on the rear hub so when you're riding it, it keeps all the mud off the hub. That is to keep the front spring from squeaking on the rod. It works. There's your bell crank. Follow the linkage down. That's your that's your compression release. Tightens the belt. It's your oil plunger. Here's your clutch. 